Hey guys, it's Josh here. As you can tell from the title, I will be taking a break from streaming. This is a break that I'm not sure how long it's going to last. Before I go too much further, I will be streaming next Sunday. That is when my next stream will be. There is a streamer UHC that I'll be a part of at like 4 Pacific time, I believe it starts. I'll give you some more details coming up soon once we finalize everything. But that will be the next stream. And then after that, I'm not sure when the next stream will be. I'm just kind of going to take some time, reevaluate my stream, make sure everything's the way I want it to be. This summer has been tough. Having a job has really worn me out. And now going back to school, it's just been a lot of stress, a lot of just, all right, sophomore year, taking some more responsibilities on. And it's just been something that's kind of been weighing on me a little bit. So I've been a little bit stressed out which has affected my streams quite a bit as a lot of you have been in my streams you've been saying stuff like Josh why are you so tired or Josh why are you so mad or Josh is Josh doesn't Josh seems bored that's the one I see the most is like Josh seems bored Josh seems you know Josh isn't the same stream is different stream I wish stream was like it was when it's when I first joined and comments like that are like oh what's going on like what am I doing wrong here what am I doing wrong and it's something that I think the hardest part is something I agree with. Stream has changed. There's been a lot of change with stream, not just the presentation of it, not just what we play, but me. And it's something that I want to reevaluate and kind of just take a step back and say, okay, what's been going on? Why do I feel different? Why does why am I streaming different? You know, why don't I have that positive energy? Because if you look back on a lot of my stream highlights, my VODs, if you just even look at some of the like YouTube videos I have, there's there's a different approach to streaming that I used to have that I feel like has worn off. And that might just be kind of how when you first start streaming, you have so much energy for it. And then when you keep streaming for a while, I mean, I've streamed for over a year, you fall into a routine. And when you fall into that routine, I guess you can kind of get to where you're not trying to improve. You're not trying to keep all your energy. You're just kind of like, well, I'm doing it because I have to. And so I'm taking this break so I can kind of break out of that, so I can make sure that I'm streaming with the right reasons, make sure I'm streaming with the best ability that I can. I really don't want to put on a stream that isn't good. I want to put on the best stream I can. Really, ultimately, the best stream out there is my goal. But I've just been feeling, the, the main reasons, I'll list them out for you. I've just been feeling really sluggish, tired, streaming-wise specifically, but also a little bit just overall when I was working over the summer I would feel tired during the day at nights feel tired but I'd still have energy to play basketball hang out with my friends and so it's not like I'm just super depressed and like super bedridden like I still have energy right now I'm still have energy to do stuff this morning I went for a jog I did some push-ups some sit-ups stuff like that I still have energy for it, but for whatever reason after an hour I stream I stream for about an hour hour and a half and then I'm just all like exhausted Yesterday I streamed for an hour and a half and at that point like I just couldn't even do it anymore. I don't know if it was a lack of motivation, a lack of energy in, in general or what, but I mean on Saturday I streamed for two hours and after two hours I literally couldn't even do anything. I was a little bit frustrated with how stream was going during Saturday. I really was like trying to play these different games but I just kept dying really early on in my games and just kind of was frustrated with that. And then ultimately pair that with the fact that I was playing these different things and I just wasn't finding the same joy I was finding off stream. I play Padlon, I play Hypixel, I play Mindplex, Mindflare. I play these games, these servers so much off stream that I think it might be effect affecting how I play them on stream. But I find so much joy off stream. Whenever I play Hypixel, Mindplex, Badline, you know, these servers, I have joy. I can, I mean, I play Hypixel like 20 hours a week. <laughs> probably I, I play it so much and I love it but for whatever reason recently when I've been streaming it I just don't find the same joy that I do when I play it off stream and so that's one of the things I'm looking at I'm gonna try to reevaluate I'm gonna try to be like okay why am I not finding the same energy the same you know positivity from this that I am off stream on stream type of thing so I'm gonna be creating some Google Docs for you now I want to create a Google Doc that allows you to basically take a survey on stream and say uh, just add in things like how do you like stream one to five how did you used to like stream? you know a month ago did you have the same view in stream uh, do you feel like stream has changed yes or no do you feel like stream has changed for better yes or no do you feel like you know blah 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 and then 
just an open answer like, what are your thoughts? What do you think we should do going forward? And I want you guys to be honest with this. You don't have to worry about hurting my he can't. You're not going to really hurt my feelings. You know, I mean, I, this is something that I realize is me. And I want to change that now, which is why I'm taking a break and trying to like reevaluate things. But anyways, I really want you guys to feel that out. Make sure you're honest. Make sure you're just putting everything you, you think out there. Also going to be doing something like this for YouTube. But it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a feedback form. But it's also going to be to where you guys can kind of direct what you want me to do with my YouTube channel. I'll take your guys' answers into consideration. No guarantees. Like if you put Josh, you should record Club Penguin or you should record My Little Pony. There's kind of a low chance I'll do My Little Pony. Maybe I'll do Club Penguin if a lot of people want it. But don't just expect me to record something if you put it in the form. That's all I'm saying. Also, with that, uh, I want to do a recording time schedule form thing on Google Docs. So basically, I just want, if you guys want to record with me, I'll put out a form that you can say, during this week, I can record at this, this, and this time. And then I'll look at the time, see who I can record with and what I can record with you. I'm not sure how much recording I'll do with you guys. I do like to do it. But it's also easy, so, so easy and so efficient if I record by myself. Because whenever I record with you guys, I have to have a set time. I have to make sure the audio is good. It takes a little bit more to edit. And when I record by myself, it's just, oh, I want to record right now. I'll do it. Oh, I want to, audio is good because I already know it's good. Like this video right now, I don't have to worry about, you know, making collabs with anyone. I don't have to worry about the audio for this video. I mean, it's, it's literally just me right so it's definitely easier to record by myself but I love recording with you guys so I want to do a form that can kind of hopefully schedule recording with you guys and I'm not sure exactly how I'll get it to work but this is something that I'm just kind of testing forward and hopefully that will get a way for me to record with you guys because there's a lot of times where you guys go Josh can you record with me and it's like yeah I want to so we'll, we'll work out how the best way to do that is also uh, the server so my Beluga server on Minecraft. I will be removing, <laughs> destroying, getting rid of. Uh, for now, being there's just no one that plays it, and I really don't want to spend too much time on it. So I'm going to talk to Apex on getting the server kind of just gone. Now that doesn't mean I'm going away from Apex. I still love Apex. They are an awesome sponsor. And they're amazing. At this point, I just don't know what I want to do with the server. Once I get an idea, once I get a, an idea that I can follow through with, and someone that can make that idea a possibility, then I'll contact Apex and ask them for what we need. But at this point, I just don't think it's in the best interest of stream to have them give us a server that we're not going to play and that we're not going to use. Because what's the point? What's the point of having them you know, give us a server if we're not going to use it at all? As I've said throughout this whole video, taking a look back on stream, making sure everything's the way I want it, and then I will be changing certain things, graphics, commands, uh, presentation, make sure everything is the way I want it to be. I want stream to be the best I can be, and it will happen. So this is, this is only a break. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I really don't want to go that long without streaming because I know I'll lose viewers, and I know I'll lose a lot of you guys because you guys want people that stream all the time. You guys don't want people that take breaks. But at this point, it's just if I keep streaming, especially if I kept streaming like every day or five days or three days a week, I'm just going to feel so burnt out and just like every stream I just have been recently the past couple weeks, every stream I've just felt tired, you know, losing energy. I just don't have the same energy that I used to have and I want to find that. I want to rekindle it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And again, this is not the end. It's just a break. Okay, this is a break that I think will ultimately in the long run really benefit the stream. But thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, I'll be doing YouTube still a lot. I'll be doing YouTube hopefully five videos at least a week, if not every day. So, I'm not gone from your life, guys. See ya!